The Royal Foundation side has removed the Duke and Duchess of Sussex from their principles, leaving just Kate and Prince William. Kate Middleton and Prince William have revamped their charity's website following their split from Meghan Markle and Prince Harry. The Royal Foundation side has removed the Duke and Duchess of Sussex from their principles, leaving just Kate and William. Prince William is also credited with founding the organization despite starting it with his younger brother in 2009. Although Prince Harry and Meghan's previous work is still listed under the website's new section, their personal projects, such as Harry's Invictus Games and Meghan's Community Cookbook, have been removed from the program section. The website also removed the Empowering Communities program, which previously included Meghan's work focused on uplifting women. The Royal Foundation now lists five main areas of focus, mental health, conservation, service, young people and early years, Kate's initiative to focus on the critical first years of a child's development. With greater focus on the early years, the Duchess of Cambridge believes we can better provide solid social and emotional platforms for children to make them healthier and more resilient later in life, according to the website. Her Royal Highness and the Royal Foundation have brought academics, practitioners and charities together to form a staring group to develop a significant new body of work that will ultimately support all efforts to provide children with the best possible start in life. This has been a major body of work and will be unveiled later this year. Kate Middleton, Prince William, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle The two couples announced their split earlier this year as they started to take divergent paths in their charity work and needed to reflect that in different outlets, a source told People. The charitable arm was originally known as the Royal Foundation when it was founded in 2009 by William and Harry. Kate joined after she wed William in 2011. When Meghan joined as patron of the foundation after she was welcomed into the royal family last year, the name was amended to the Royal Foundation of the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge and the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. Now, it has been changed to the Royal Foundation of the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge. In July, Meghan and Harry announced the creation of their new charity, known as Sussex Royal The Foundation of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. Both couples will continue to work together on projects in the future, including on the Foundation's mental health program, Heads Together, the Palace said in a statement earlier this year. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge and the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are incredibly proud of what they have achieved together through the Royal Foundation. They are especially proud to have established a charity that has had, and will continue to have, significant long-lasting impact, changing lives for the better, the statement continued. A source previously told People that the separation is a natural progression and not a breakup. A review of the Royal Foundation is something that had previously been announced, said the source. This is part of, the couple's, diverging paths, which hastened a look at the foundation. In the spring, the couples separated their joint court at Kensington Palace by creating two separate offices. Meghan and Harry's office moved out of Kensington Palace and into Buckingham Palace, where the Queen resides, while William and Kate's office remains in Kensington Palace, where they live with their three children. Since then, Meghan and Harry have moved to Windsor Castle's Frogmore Cottage with baby Archie, 25 miles outside London, and launched their own Instagram page. As heir to the throne, the Duke of Cambridge has less flexibility, in his charity work, because of his constitutional obligations, a source told People. New Dad Harry is now married, has started a family and is not constitutionally bound. It is a natural progression. Prince William, Kate, Prince Harry and Meghan recently teamed up to voice a PSA video for mental health, which was aired by major UK broadcasters. The three-minute clip. Launched by Public Health England as part of its Every Mind Matters program, features the royals narrating a spot that stars Gillian Anderson, Glenn Close and Great British Bake Off winner Nadia Hussain. When they heard about it, all four of them were really keen to take part, said a royal source. It is a really positive project, and all four of them have been involved and they hope it will have a huge impact. The voiceover begins with Prince William saying, everyone knows that feeling, when life gets on top of us. After William says me, you, Harry picks up with your brother, your mother, your friend, 
your colleague, your neighbor, adding that sufferers often feel they can't do anything about it. There are things we can do, says Megan. From today, there's a new way to help turn things around. Every Mind Matters will show you simple ways to look after your mental health. Then Kate, who was the inspiration behind the Royal Successful Heads Together Mental Health Initiative, adds, it'll get you started with a free online plan designed to help you deal with stress, boost your mood, improve your sleep and feel more in control. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have been removed from the Royal Foundation website's list of principals, leaving just Kate Middleton and Prince William, people reported. Markle and Harry's personal charity projects have also been removed from the projects listed on the site. Their previous works remain in the site's new section, however. The split in charity work was announced in May when the couple said they were choosing a divergent path in their works. At the time, sources told people that the split was a natural progression and was not a breakup. Now called the Royal Foundation of the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, headed by only Middleton and Prince William, it will focus on five initiatives, mental health, conservation, service, young people and early years, and Middleton's child development initiative. William and Harry created the charity in 2009, Middleton came on board after marrying William in 2011, and Markle joined last year after her wedding to Harry. Following the announcement of the split, the palace released a statement saying, both couples will continue to work together on projects in the future, including on the foundation's mental health program, Heads Together.